Hey y'all, made it back. If you are back, well, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching another video of mine after my comeback video, which I have to say, I'm so grateful reading all the comments that you all left me. It's such a blessing to know and to see just the possibilities that the internet could give you, like, and how connected I could feel to someone I've never met and don't even know how they look. Reading all of you all's comments, and I've read a lot, just how you relate, how you've gone or you're going through some of the things that I have, and just accepting the new Ray, because this is not the old Ray. This is definitely a new Ray with everything that has been thrown at me in life. <laughs> So today, with that being said, we're going to be doing um, an everyday makeup look. This is my everyday makeup, which is completely different from my old videos and what you all are probably used to. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for coming on this new journey with me. If you don't know, um, I kind of disappeared for a while, then I came back, so now I'm here. So thank you for my newbies. Thank you for my OGs, my OG followers. We're gonna do my everyday makeup look and we're gonna talk about divorce. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So like I mentioned before, my everyday makeup routine is not the same at all. Not even close. Listen to this. I don't even use powder anymore. Well, okay, I lied. I don't set my face anymore. But basically, most of the products that I use, they're cream-based. I just, I'm on a different wave now when it comes to my makeup. I don't know, I'm all about the natural glow. I don't mind the skin peeking through and the imperfections. I'm more about the enhance what you have and not, you know, completely erase what you have and rebuild it, which is kind of what I used to do. Which, mind you, I love a good face beat. But that's not realistic for my lifestyle anymore. And not only that, I'm just lazy. I'm not going to lie. So the first thing that I always do when I begin my makeup, because it gives you such a beautiful glow, it's a good SPF. It's an amazing SPF. It's the Black Girl Sunscreen. This is the Little Mermaid version, but they have the regular one. I use the one in the black bottle as well. And it has SPF 30. Watch the glow that this gives my skin. I also feel like it helps my makeup. Just It just goes on so smooth. It looks glowy, dewy, um, my skin texture, like look at that. Can you see? Can you see that? Look at this side compared to this side. You see the glow that I'm talking about? Look at that glow that it gives you. It's just so pretty. So I make sure I apply that all over my face and my neck and my chest, but I already have some on there. And this is actually my base. I don't prime. I know it's crazy. I don't prime. I don't, but I never was really a primer anyways, you guys. Um, probably remember that. First, I want to get on the topic on why I left YouTube. Honestly, I left because I knew that I was about to go through divorce. And one, I'm already a pretty private person. And bear with me if I'm kind of like all over the place doing this video. This is new for me to be talking about products and life hardships at the same time and like <laughs> finding a balance so i'm someone where one i'm private although i'm on social media um i've always only shown like you know my beauty tips i might have uploaded you know some pictures here and there that might be personal but i never talked about my personal business all right so for my base <laughs> just switching it up right here I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This concealer for your base. If you ever see me in real life and the skin skinning, this is why. If you ever see me online and the skin is skinning, this is why. It is just such a beautiful finish. It can be whatever coverage you want it to be. You don't need a lot. So what I like to do is I'll go in and basically pinpoint, you know, put a few dots. Maybe a little more than a few. Just cover the areas I want to cover like any discoloration mainly like the little scars that I have and redness around the nose and it just looks so beautiful you'll see when it's blended out and a little goes a long way and it lasts all day and it just looks schmexy okay so 
yeah, I never really got too personal online just because I've always been someone who's afraid of, like, I'm not gonna lie. I've always been that person where it's like, you know, you're in a relationship and you don't know. And it's like, what if this doesn't last? And it's not like to think negatively, like you think it's not gonna last. It's more like you just want to be prepared to deal with personal things personally. You know what I mean? I didn't want to be or have a channel where like I got a couple's channel and then something happens and I got to make a video while I'm going through my own crisis of the situation and I got to, you know, tell my followers what's going on and deal with unnecessary opinions from people who don't even know what's happening or the people it's happening to personally. I feel like I did a good job of basically making sure that doesn't happen at least to the best of my ability. But I did realize that that is why it took me away from YouTube and kind of silenced my voice on social media because it's like I was I was walking on eggshells trying to make sure that, you know, I didn't want anyone to get attacked. I didn't want, first of all, you know, people are just nosy as hell, man. And I know people are gonna be nosy no matter what. And a lot of you all picked it up, but I wanted to minimize the nosiness, okay? And I don't know, I might live in a bubble, or I might be naive, but I feel like I did a great job of doing that. Even looking at the comments on this video, y'all are like, wait, you're divorced? And I'm like, mission accomplished. That's what I was trying to do, mind your business. <laughs> but now we're here and I've realized that because I do like sharing parts of me, and I, and I don't necessarily have to share all of me with y'all, because we all need privacy or we would lose our mind. It's not, it's not sustainable. But I also don't want to just like disappear and cut y'all off. Because this, this is and it was what truly made me happy and like brought me happiness. You know what I mean? And it still does. I realized how much I missed it and now I'm back. So that is basically why I left. All right, so what I love to do after is color correct. I don't really do much since I already put on my base, but this is the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Color Corrector. I just like how pretty the peachiness looks under the eyes and it really brightens you up. I even like to just put a little bit over here and when my little stash grows, you know what I mean? Um, if you haven't tried this, now, the big question that I do get a lot, not only from y'all, not even from social media, just from anyone who knows my story, uh, people in my personal life um, that are or currently or have or are about to go through the same thing that I have, which is divorce. They want to know how, how did I get through it or how am I getting through it? Now, I will say that I am still currently getting through it because I, I feel like that is going to honestly, we're not going to, we're not going to make this video fluffy. You're going to be going through it for a while because you don't, you don't know how your child is going to handle it. You know what I mean? And you can try to your best ability to make sure that they don't, I guess, feel anything or it affects anything in their life. I know that we have tried our best to do that and I, I feel like we're doing an amazing job but you still never know until you get older it's kind of it's like being a parent where you can think you're doing amazing and no matter what your child might grow up and say hey mom or hey dad like this is one of my traumas that came from you and you're blindsided and you really thought that you were doing great which of course I'm sure you are and I, I feel like I am but like I said, you just never know. Like, I'm sure the things that you tell your parents, they would have never thought that you felt that way or that you're upset with them or that they created a trauma that you now have to heal from and that, are, that you're dealing with. So as far as how do you just like completely get through it, like you're always going to be going through it. But when it comes to getting through it, as far as like getting the strength to get back to me, that did take a while. I basically had to rebuild myself. I don't want to say from scratch, but in a way, mentally, especially because I was married so young um, and was with the same person for so long, definitely had to learn myself all over again. I had to, I had to find out who the heck is Ray. Like, do I really like doing this? Do I like this in a person? Do I like this in me? There's a lot of questions that I had to ask that I never asked before and a lot of self-reflection and therapy and God 
that's one thing I'm not going to forget. God. God is what really held me together. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is what really held me together. Seriously. Like, I don't... If it was not for God, I would have... I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I was going to be honest. I wouldn't. Period. I went in and added a little more just because I'm realizing that doing makeup on the iPhone and doing makeup on a freaking 5D Mark IV high quality 4K camera is completely different and y'all are not going to see what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> so we're going to add a little more than I normally do, but same techniques, same products. So yeah, God really got me through everything because I remember, I can laugh at it now, but I remember while it was happening, I would Google and go on blogs like, how long does it take to get over divorce? When will I be happy? Will anyone want me? Because now I'm single, divorced, with a child. But like, I literally looked up everything. I sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I would be negative and I would see, you know, you know how it is now on Instagram. Oh my gosh, the way that people think when it comes to relationships and the mindset, I was like, bruh, I'm gonna be by myself for the rest of my life. And my, I didn't have an issue with possibly being by myself for the rest of my life. It was more like not being able to accept that. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the strength that I have and the space that I'm in, obviously, if I had a choice, I wouldn't choose to be by myself for the rest of my life. But with the strength that God has given me, the amazing new people that are in my life, which we'll get to, that genuinely love and care about me and show up for me and have no alternative motives and really just want to love on me like I want to love on them, I would be okay if God came down and was like, you know what, even though I know he wouldn't, but let's just say hypothetically, he was like, Ray, I'm sorry, but you're probably going to have to be single for the rest of your life. You're going to have Zoe and some cats. Line them up, which cats we get in. I'm all good. <laughs> and I don't know if I can say that easier because I have Zoe in my life. Because um, imagining not having a child already, I will say I think, I think that me getting over divorce would be a longer, more difficult road. Which I know might sound crazy because I feel like when kids are involved, it might sound like it would be more difficult. But it's not because right now Zoe gets to see both of her parents the happiest they could be. The much needed choice was made so that Zoe can prosper. And that is my baby. Like, I will do anything for my baby Zoe. I do not care what it is. I don't care what I have to give up. I don't care if I have to suffer. I don't care what it is. That is my precious pride and joy. So, I feel like I'm in a mental space now where if, even if I'm with someone who's now compromising my mental and how I feel about myself, I X them out. I don't got time for it. I don't got time for you. You have no place here because now with me becoming more self-aware and building my emotional intelligence, you're not going to affect me so that it affects my kid. And I'm trying to keep her away from as much trauma as I possibly can. Of course, I want to show her the real world so she's not completely sheltered from everything, but she don't need to see anything unnecessary that I could easily remove. Am I talking too much? Because if I'm not, I'm going to be happy because the ADHD in me is thriving right now because I could talk to you for hours. I'm that friend where I tell my friends, like, you know, I won't be offended if you tell me that I'm talking too much. Like, I, I promise you I won't because I know that I talk a lot. <laughs> so if y'all are okay with this, I'm going to be so happy. All right, so let me move on to the next thing, which is going to be my brows because I just don't like how they're looking right now, so I want to do them. I use the Rare Beauty Eyebrow Gel. This will give you that laminated brow gel. If you don't like the laminated brow gel, then... You can keep it moving. You're probably, well, no, you'll still like it. I feel like you can tweak it to how you want it to be, but it is a very powerful eyebrow gel. It is definitely one of my favorites right now. And what I do is I like to roll the spoolie into the brow hairs and then I, I shape it. Right now my brows are kind of thick. You know, they're doing what they're doing, but whatever. They need to be done, but I get lazy and I don't let anybody touch my brows. So I will do them when I do them. So I really had to work on also, which which was very hard, I will say for those of you who are going through this currently and may not have reached this step, the depression and the anxiety and questioning your self-worth. Um, we're also going to talk about looks because let's not be real and act like looks don't matter. 
Like, it actually gets really annoying to me when people act like looks don't matter. Like, of course, it is not the end all be all. But when you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you look good. Like, that's one thing that I noticed that I had to do. I had to really work on first making myself feel better on the outside, which is crazy because, of course, you need to work on your insides first, which I was doing. But then I would work on my insides and give myself that confidence. And I'm like, I could, I'm going to be fine. I could do this. You know, I don't care if I need to be by myself or maybe I'll find somebody else. I'm going to be a great mom, blah, 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 blah. I still would like look in the mirror and then I'm like, eh. Like you, you just want to feel, you want to feel good. And sometimes that is looking good. I was making sure I was doing my makeup every day. And I'm not going to lie. There were times when I didn't want to do my damn makeup. Like I was tired. I was depressed. But I was like, just, just do your brows today. Just put on some, put on some good smelling perfume. So when you sit on the couch, you're just like, okay, I smell good. I like the way I smell. I smell fresh. I smell clean. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to fill in my brows ever, ever so slightly with the brow micro filling, uh, was it pen from Benefit? And I like it because if you can see, oh my gosh, old school YouTube videos, go put the hand there. <laughs> it has like, uh, what is it called? And create strokes with this little felt tip pen. It's kind of cool. Just doing something. And I would literally have to force myself to do this. Because I know if you're watching this and you're in it, you're just like, ugh, I don't care to do that. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't care about life anymore. I don't want to. I don't care about working. I don't care about looking cute. But I promise you, just doing that little thing for yourself, like, just force yourself to do it. I would force myself to do it because it would get to the point where I knew that I was going to come. Well, I mean, I... I don't want to say I completely lost myself, but I was, I was close to it. And I felt I was getting to that point. And I was like, okay, you're going to have to make yourself look cute in whichever way you feel is cute at the moment. I don't care if it's temporary, if it's fake, if you just need to get your hair done, but you're not going anywhere and you're probably going to stay in the house because you're depressed and you don't want to go anywhere. But at least when you walk past the mirror, you could be like depressed and cute. And I'm not going to be depressed soon. <laughs> So yeah, building the confidence back is something that I had to do and I had to force myself to try new things, to go to new places, to to even do the old things that I used to do, to, to sit there and think like, is this even me? Do I like doing these things? Is this real confidence, fake confidence? Was I just comfortable and now I need to, you know, break that comfort and do something different? Like even... Even recently, the new thing that I did to help me learn to be okay, to help me learn to be okay with being alone is taking myself out to eat alone, doing things on my own that normally I'll call my friends and be like, what you doing? Because I need you just there as moral support. Now, listen, honey bun, the show, the show must go on no matter whether you show up. I'll invite my friends to things. I'll be like, do you want to go bowling with me? Do you want to go to lunch with me? If they flake or they got something to do, I be like, peace out. I'm still going bowling at 6 p.m. Just like how I was even if you was going to show up. Same thing when we go on to lunch. I've gotten to a point where I just, I do things that make me happy now. Where I do believe that sometimes when you're with your partner, you could get a little lost in doing things. I mean, which makes sense. You want to do things that make each other happy. But I think a lot of the times people forget to be like, let me stop and just do this one thing on Wednesday at 2 p.m that makes me happy you know what I mean you gotta you gotta learn to be on your own and really sit there and be okay with your thoughts and yourself on your own now I'm gonna get into my favorite product that if you follow me on Instagram you have seen this all over the place it is like my ride or die there's like three or four of these this is the makeup forever um, it's the makeup forever um, I think all over face basically as you can see this beautiful palette which I would have never used years ago and it would scare me and just look like I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it it is amazing because you can mix and create your custom shades you can contour highlight um, I do have one that has a highlighter in it but I'm gonna use this one instead and they have blushes literally everything I usually use this palette all over my face but today I wanted to use my born this way concealer so I'm gonna go in with the contour and I'm gonna use my favorite I still team elf my elf duo foundation brush and I'm gonna go in with these two colors right here and just you know carve out the face very lightly um, well I might have to go heavy because of this lighting but very you know very natural. Oh, I also meant to mention um, a lot of the depression and anxiety that I was uh, speaking about was also due to postpartum. Postpartum is such a hard thing to get out of, I understand. And 
I, I, I want you to not put a time limit on that if you are going through it. Obviously, you don't want to be going through it for, for a long time. But putting a time limit, I found for me, like, I'd be like, no, okay, I'm going to be good by this time. And then if I wasn't, it literally made it worse. Because then I'd be like, you know, you suck. Like, you're a failure. Like, why are you still feeling like this? What a loser. You see all these women on Instagram. They were in postpartum one day. And even though we know Instagram is fake, but then you still compare yourself to that. And you're like, oh, they're fine this day. Like, how come I can't be like them? Like, what kind of woman am I? What kind of mom am I? Don't put pressure on that. You got to do something, like... Do things little by little each day. Just you wanting to like get in the bath and spray some perfume on you is like, pat yourself on the back. You did that. Because think about where you were three months ago. And I'm preaching to the choir because it was hard for me to do that. But I found that just the little things that I did mattered and it would help. So postpartum is hard. But you're, I promise you, you're going to get through it. I promise you. Just at least have the thought in your mind that, yeah, it sucks right now. And I'm real negative, And I don't feel like I'm going to get through it. Am I being a good mom? Am I being a good friend? Am I being good to myself? You're being all those things. Your mind is tricking you. You're fine. You're great. And you're going to get to a point where you know and believe that. I got some questions. Well, a lot of questions <laughs> about the weight loss part. Because let's be real. We women, we want to look good. We got societal pressures on us. We always gotta look like we just didn't have a baby. It's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And if you do look like that after you have a baby, God bless you. But um, for the weight loss, I am gonna be 1000% honest. I didn't focus on my weight loss. I had moments where I would try and exercise. Maybe I'll post a little treadmill, you know, pick here and there. Man. First of all, I hate to exercise in general, even before I had a child. Even though I'm naturally like athletic, I, I don't like working out. Anybody who knows me knows I hate working out. Like, you couldn't pay me. So I feel like, uh, if I'm being honest, I lost a lot of my weight after you have the baby and then um, from stress and not really eating. Um, then from breastfeeding, that helped me lose a lot of weight because I gained a lot with Zoe. I was one, I feel like my, my weight range was from 130 to like 138 before I had Zoe. Um, and then I went to like 180. <laughs> I was on the couch stuffing my face. I was, I was, cause I'm like, I'm pregnant. This is the one time I don't have to worry about my body image. You know, my stomach's poking out. I'm pregnant and I could, I could be fat. I can just like eat whatever, no one's judging me, and they're still like, oh, you're so cute. Then after, I feel like maybe when Zoe was like two and a half, which is crazy, it took me about two, two years, two and a half years to really finally, like then I've started like, you know, eating better, thinking about, you know, my weight, at least trying to walk, just be active, just move. Um, so I think all those things played a role. Um, but now I'm obviously like more into a healthy lifestyle and I'm trying to pay attention to those things. But I did really try and focus on telling myself to not be so obsessed with the weight side. And I'm not going to sit here and act like other people might, that might not be their big concern because you might have gained a lot or maybe you already had weight issues before and then you got pregnant now, you know, you're at, you're at a place where you never could be. So I'm just speaking from where I am because I hate when people give me advice and it's like, well, yeah, you can give me that advice. Cause like, it's like when a rich person's like, well, money isn't everything. Well, it's like, yeah, yeah. Cause you got it. <laughs> like, don't give me advice on stuff that you haven't experienced or haven't experienced in a long time. Like, no. So I don't, I don't want anyone to feel like that. Um, but just for your mental, if you could have most of your moments in your life, not, especially cause you just had a baby. Don't be so hard on yourself. All right. Cause that was a lot of talking. So I'm going back with my brush that I applied the Too Faced with, and I'm just kind of like, you know, chiseling a little bit. We do a little more chisel for y'all. I'm just trying to hurry up and retouch cause the oil's peeking through, even though I don't mind the oil peeking through, but just for the sake of the video, I don't want to peek through yet. <laughs> all right um blushy blush so same palette this is why i love this because now that i'm a mom i'm lazy okay i don't want to speak that we rebuke that in the name of jesus i'm not lazy i want to be more efficient so and i want to save time and yeah sometimes i don't feel like doing it so i'm gonna use these two blushes right here 
and I don't know about you but I am so happy that that extra blush trend is back because I used to do that even though I don't I don't feel like mine was like the cute version of how it is now like the little they call it the strawberry now hilarious but I'm gonna um add some we're gonna blend that out don't worry add some paint blush on the cheeks bring it up and then I like to add a little bit on the nose look sun kissed even though it's October with all dang makeup trends I still want to look sun kissed okay maybe I'm still maybe I'm just trying to look younger too so I'm gonna blend it out he's so cute he's so cute I like it okay okay Mario <laughs> Zoe loves watching Mario. That's what I have it in my head. Um, I'm trying to think of another topic. I did write down like bullet points so I can get through some stuff for y'all and hit on as much as possible. If I forget, you are more than welcome to comment. You are more than welcome to DM me. I, I love answering these things because I feel like God gave me this platform for a reason. I'm still trying to figure it out fully and I'm still trying to figure out or see how he's trying to use me which is another video that we can have and, and do a little chit chat about. But yeah, let me know, cause I might miss some things. Actually, I'm gonna also go in with powder blush. So what I do like to do, which I'm probably gonna do in this video, cause I'm just gonna be a little extra. I will go in with a powder after these products, like a powder version of what I applied to set it. I'm gonna be using the Peach Blossom Blush and Highlight Palette from Essence. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go over that blush with this. It's kind of pretty, like peachy, pinky. But the next thing I wanted to talk about was Zoe and how she's handling it. Um, I feel like at first, the only thing that would affect her would be like sleeping schedule from like her switching off, which was hard because it was when she was younger. Like she is just amazing. And that makes me so happy as a parent because that's that's all I want to do. Like. I just, that was the goal. I just wanted her to be okay and to be happy. I'm gonna go in with this highlighter right here. Mix it a little bit with the pink. And yes, I'm using one of my old brushes, I know. It's not coming back, y'all, I'm sorry. I, I, man, if it could, I should've kept it permanently, but you live and you learn. But yeah, Zoe is amazing. I'm just happy she's happy. That's what matters. I mean, obviously it matters that I'm happy too because I'm her mom. Oh yeah, and I put it, put it in my eyes just to brighten up. I'm her mom and I gotta be happy too, you know, because she, I want her to always look at me and be like, mom, I just remember my mom being happy and I remember her taking care of herself and doing this. So I'm gonna go on with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Okay, now we're gonna move on to lips and we're also gonna move on to the big question. Will I ever get married again? Wait, are we moving on to lips? Am I done? I feel like on camera it looks so natural, which obviously is the perp the purpose, but I, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm too far. I mean, that is the purpose. It is supposed to look natural. So I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced um, lip injection. This is the Extreme Lip Shaper. It gives you a little lip plump, although I don't need a lip plump. I just like the way it feels. I don't know, I've been kind of weird lately where I've been becoming like a sensation person and this might sound weird, but guess what? I don't care. I don't care if I seem like I'm being weird, okay? I like when things kind of like tingle or like when I eat food, I like really, really spicy food. Like I even like the feeling of when you eat wasabi and it like, you eat too much and it kind of like burns your nose. I don't know why, but I, I dig it. Like the ginger beer, like have some ginger beer and ask them to put some jalapenos in it. That burn on top of the fizzy burn of the ginger beer. It is magical. I'm gonna line my lip. Ooh, no. I feel like this makeup is not showing on camera. I really hope it is. Even if it isn't, I'm still gonna upload. I don't care. Um, will I get married again? Or do I want to get married again? Um, the answer, I will say honestly, after, right after my divorce. Um, oh, so the big question is, am I open to like getting married again? Or, you know, will I get married again? So if you would have asked me right after it happened, I would be like, absolutely, positively not. I was trying to make myself become one of those people where it's like marriage is it's just the paper and you know as long as we know what we are to each other and blah 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 which is fine I'm not saying that people who think that um, you know it's bad but for me it's not fine especially being um, a believer in Christ yeah I would hope that I could again but I'm not like I'm not in a rush I want 
if I, oh crap. I want it to be like, if I do do it again, it is 1000% right ordained by the Lord because we all want that. It's a good thing, but it's definitely not something I'm like pressured to do. And I will, I will say that I feel like it kind of, I don't feel like I'm as pressured, especially because I have Zoe. But yeah, it is ghetto out here. I'm sure y'all know. So that's another thing where it's like, if you are going through a divorce or a breakup or whatever, be prepared for the ghetto ness you're going to have to deal with. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say you're going to have to deal with it. I, I hope that you don't. That's why I'm not in a rush. Because I just want to continue learning myself. I'm still learning who I am. I'm still finding new hobbies. I'm still fixing and healing traumas so that I could be a better person for myself, to myself, and for my daughter. I have uh, making new friends and putting myself out there, doing things that normally I wouldn't do, I would be afraid to do. I hope I touched on a lot. I low-key have a headache from talking so much. Even though I talk a lot, I get headaches. Um, I probably need to eat, but I hope you like this makeup. I mean, even if you don't, it's my everyday makeup, so you don't really have to like it. <laughs> but, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I honestly really enjoyed doing this. But I'm gonna head out because I actually gotta go get my pride and joy, my little princess in a few. So yeah, peace out. Or like I used to say, deuces. <laughs> I might bring that back. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of cute. Deuces. Okay, bye.